Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Today, I'm going to do a quick review of the MP Shield. I actually found an awesome deal on this, $249. And a friend of mine got this and said, Hey, Drew, do you want to review it? And they brought it over straight from the gun store, um, from picking it up. That's awesome. It hasn't even been fired. Now, I'm like, Really? You're gonna let me review it before you even pull the trigger? So hey, you know, I'm not gonna look a gift towards the mouse. Open the box, you know, pretty just classic. Comes with a lock, comes with an extra mag, comes with the instruction manual, your standard stuff. Break it out. You know, this is essentially about as small as they come. This is really comparable to my Taurus PT709. And that's kind of what I had. And actually she was looking at getting that, but she really liked the Smith and Wesson. I will say it's a heavy sucker. Um, it's, it's a solid little gun. I've never had one of these. I don't own a Smith and Wesson, but you know, it's a nice, it's a nice gun with a good reputation. Comes with two mags, seven rounds, Real quick here, the breakdown on this is just a little different than I'm used okay. to. Sorry, my workbench is a little dirty here. This comes all the way back, and instead of going up, we get it right there, get it in the right spot. And that it is a little different than, there we go. Get that down. Okay, we made sure it was empty. Pull the trigger, and it slides off. And then this, it's really no different than a Glock, a Springfield, or anything else. It breaks down super easy. Um, it just took me a little bit because I'm used to those always going up. So that's a little different. Slides back on, get it to that spot, flip it up, and there we go. Nice sights. I love these sights, actually. So all that's really left is to just go outside and run some ammo through. So what I want to do is go outside and I want to run some different ammo through it because for, for a lot of us, you know, especially with nine, you can get cheap, you can get steel cased, you know, and if, if you've got a weapon that will fire anything, that puts it, you know, way up in the reliability because if it's going to eat wolf and Tula, it's going to function probably just flawlessly with good American-made brass and defense ammo. So well, let's take this outside. Let's feed it some, some steel case, see how it does. Before I forget, because I always forget this, if you're new to Beyond Seclusion, or even if you're not and you haven't yet, do me a huge solid. I've got three online courses. Just click on them to give them a view to bump them up in the search engine. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. If you haven't visited our Facebook page, check us out on Facebook. Give a like and follow. And where I found this, the deal, is on my website where I have killer deals on everything that I find. Just go to beyondseclusion.com. I got product links there and everything. So anyway, let's go outside and shoot. Okay, real quick here, if you can hear me, I'm at about 30 feet, about 10 yards. I'm gonna use both hands. It has not been fired. I wanna see what kind of groups we get. I got Wolf Military Classic in here. Okay, so just did seven shots, about 30 feet with Wolf Military Classic. Let's take a look here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Wolf Military Classic. Let's, uh, let's try the Tula. There's what we're using. Tula here. I'm going to use both hands, see what kind of groups we can get. That's about 30 feet with Tula. That is with both hands. Let's, uh, let's have some fun on the steel over here. We'll do it one-handed uh, from well, about the same distance, maybe farther back. Here's something that I didn't notice before. It's got a 7 and an 8, so it extends down just a little bit more. So you got you got two different mags here that come with it. I still got the Wolf. We're about 20 yards. We'll try it single-handed, see how we can do. <laughs> Again. Let's try to do it without any flinching. Wow. 
Wow, I don't know what the hell happened there. And I had better luck with a Tula. Let's give the Tula a try here. Try not to flinch either here with the one hand. Okay, I'm gonna try something crazy here. I'm gonna hold this. I've got it in a selfie stick. I'm gonna hold it in my mouth. See if we can get a little bit better group here with the wolf. That was a little bit better. Okay, so those of you that got your concealed carry, you know, you shoot at like, I don't know, three feet, five feet, and I think the farthest is 10. I'm at least probably 15, 20 feet here. I'm gonna hold the selfie stick in my mouth, use both hands, see how we do. Yeah, I don't know, has that got you convinced yet? 249, that's 50 rounds of wolf military classic. Let's just might as well finish off the Tula, then we can say we fired 100 rounds of the crappiest ammo and nailed stuff. Crap, yeah. Okay, we're at a good distance here. Got just a, a couple more mags of Tula. Got two bullets left. There we go. 100 rounds of Wolf and Tula. So there you have it. The Smith & Wesson MP Shield little concealed carry. We just put 100 rounds of the crappiest ammo. And the best part of it is it's not my gun. And I know, and the person who owns this, she's right now, she's laughing her ass off because she's thinking, mm, Drew, actually, she, she knows how I work. That's the best way, I think, to test. So we didn't have one single hiccup, not one, with Wolf Military Classic and Tula. Can you trust your life in this? Heck yeah, I would. And for 100 or 249 bucks? Are you kidding me? So anyway, be sure to like, comment, sub. Hey, if you haven't done so, give my online videos a click. Please do me a solid. Boost them up there in searches. You don't have to watch them, but people that are interested, they'll find them and they'll buy them and that'll help support Beyond Seclusion. So anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, happy shooting and be safe. <laughs>